you. Okay. Sorry, we get half of this story. Um, shall I, anybody else? Or shall I take over again? Sure. Um, yeah. Okay, well, for a while, the Duny was lit regularly, but in those early years, Baba traveled frequently. And during the long periods when all were away from Maribad, the Duni obviously was not lit. Returning one time from the travels in the blue bus, du Baba had the Duni lit. This was on the 12th of December, 1941. Wow, 20 years later. Baba then ordered that there, thereafter the Duni should be lit on the 12th of each month. So that is why we do it because Baba told us to continue to light it on the 12th of each month. It was his order to us. So it is our pleasure to obey and light the Duni each month on the 12th. But what about the sandalwood and the burning up of sanskaras, you ask? Well, during a Sahabas program in 1955, Baba asked each one there to take a small piece of sandalwood and throw it in the fire. This piece of wood was supposed to symbolize some attachment we had, some atta attachment which was a hindrance in our journey to God. Each was to throw the piece of sandalwood in the fire with the thought that attachment would be consumed. But there is nothing magical about it. You don't need to wait until the 12th to start burning up your attachments in Baba's divine love. For that ultimately is what the Duni symbolizes, the fire of Baba's divine love. That love consumes everything, and if anyone is brave enough to throw themselves into the fire, they are consumed. Their false self is burnt away, and what is left is the real self, and we call this God-realization. Um, Ralph, did I cut you off? Do you want to read more <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go again, but no, yeah, I didn't feel like uh, we, I thought I was done. Okay. The Duni is only a symbol of this, but does not mean that there is no point in going to the Duni. That the whole ceremony is simply an empty ritual? Not at all. It is a means of remembering Baba. Baba told us to light the duni so when we light it in obedience to his wishes we are remembering him when we take a piece of sandalwood and throw it in the fire that will not automatically burn up one of our attachments but if we think about baba if we sincerely dedicate ourselves to becoming his, then indeed we may start a fire in ourselves, which is far greater than the fire we see in the Duni. Everything is a ritual and nothing is. It all depends on how you approach it. If you go to the Duni and throw in a piece of sandalwood because someone tells you you should do, tells you you should, or because you want to get rid of one of your attachments without making any effort, then it becomes a ritual. <laughs> a bit of magic mumbo jumbo, and yet even so, if your faith in Baba is great enough, you might just find that your attachment has been lessened. But what is the point of freeing oneself from attachments? It is so we it is so we are free to remember our Lord, Meher Baba, the Avatar, with all our heart and soul. And we can begin to remember him now when we are where we are, excuse me, to remember him now where we are. Baba said that all of creation is only a reminder to humanity.
to remember the Creator. So the Dooney is one more opportunity to remember Baba. Thank you, Ralph. Mayor, I skipped you. Would you like to read the? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is an opportunity to focus more concentratedly on Baba, but the real Dhuni is the human heart, and the real fire is the fire of love for God. And if we have the courage, the daring every day, every moment, we would be attempting to throw our attachments on this fire, not just attachments. We would be throwing ourselves onto this fire. That would be the real duni. Okay, so that's that's that from with this reading. From this is now from Erich. That's how it was. Now, um, there's one little piece of it that let's see. I think I may have to uh, uh, stop sharing for a minute. There's one piece of it that um, r way back in the twenties, when the first Dooney happened, <laughs> Baba um, uh, asked the Mandali to write a poem about the Dooney, and uh, and so they all sub it was almost like a contest. They they submitted their well. I'll I'll read it. It's coming up, and I'm going to show you now. Let's see if I can do this in. Uh, uh, let's see. No, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, let me. Um, sorry. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Lord Mayor. Okay. Can you see this? Can you see this Lord Ma page from Lord Mayor? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Now here, uh, uh, but they're more specific about the date. Apparently they say it was the 10th of November, 1925. Um, and uh, I'll just read this paragraph. On the night of 10 November after, a, oh, okay. Let's go back to, although it was the season of the month soon, there had been a severe shortage of rain thus far. In early November 1925, visitors, villagers from neighboring areas approached Baba with a request for rain, as there was a scarcity of drinking water and a danger that their rabi, autumn crops, might fail due to the prolonged drought. Baba advised them to be patient. On the night of 10th November, after a day of exhausting activity, Baba was in the midst of a discussion with the Mandali near the table cabin when the villagers returned. Again, they beseeched him for rain, and after Upasni Maharaj's arti was sung, Baba ordered a pit to be dug and a duni, sacred fire, to be lit. The fire was started at 11 that night, Afterward, Baba informed the villagers, God has heard your prayers. Now go straight home. Although there had been no clouds in the sky prior to the lightning of the Duni, an hour later a heavy rain fell and the showers lasted for 15 hours and the villagers' crops were saved. Um, there's, a, there's just one more page to read. Anybody like to read a couple paragraphs? Starting the next day. Should I start? Sure. Yeah. The, the next, next day. The next day, Baba. The next day, Baba asked each of the mandali to compose a poem about the Dhuni. The school was closed for the afternoon, and the poems of all were read out. Rustam won the uh, first prize, Padri second, and uh, Padoba and uh, Padoba, one of the teachers at the school third, and Kisan master also a school teacher won the fourth. Okay. 
Jai. Jal Bai. Jal. Jai, Jai Bai, who wrote a good poem and was com complimented. It was entertaining to hear these rhymes. Each man dramatically reading uh, his poem as if he were a great poet. Each would explain his poems, meaning however ex expect for uh, for Rustams and Padri's uh, compositions, none had any deep meaning. Padri composed his poem, which Baba liked. Oh, Sadhguru, Mer Baba, only you are the support master of both worlds, powerful saviors of us all. In, in the year 1925, this 20th century, you declared the evils of the world will be destroyed. The date was the 10th day of the 11th month of of 1925. At 10.30 p.m., you called your lovers near and announced that the dhuni was to be lighted. All arrangements were made and we pr proceeded to your jhopri. We lit the dhuni in the companion of the rishis and uh, munis, but I could, uh, but sorry, munis. My mind was full of thoughts, but I could understand nothing except that to save us from the rounds of births and deaths, during which we suffered greatly and were uh, beaten by nature. A powerful Sadhguru came into our lives to rescue our souls, and the Dhuni was meant to burn up all our sins. The beloved had Dhuni lightened because the burden of our acts. Oh Dhuni, you carry much deeper meaning, which I am incapable of uh, comprehending. How about anybody else reading the next poem? I can read. <clears throat> Sailor pen this short run. Ladies and gentlemen, listen carefully to what I say. Last night, we lit the dooney and afterward a heavy rain fell. All Saliks love to light the dooney. It is their habit. It is quite difficult to explain. It is all your glory. Now, with your permission, I take your leave. I am unable to describe any more. Sailor says this to the first time. Sailor says this is the first time in his life he has ever composed a poem. <laughs> Baba immediately composed these lines about the Duni in Gujarati. Rosalie, I'm the... gonna, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch because there's a pretty uh, view of that beautiful poem. It's the same poem. Okay. He, so he, it's here. It's this one. It, oh, that's yeah, one. That's... yeah. So there you can you read that one, Rosalie? Is that all right? Yeah, the beloved's poem on his duty, translated by Bao Kalchuri. My pen has not the strength to sing your praise. At the first glow of your flame, there was rain. How marvelous is your gift to cool your radiant blaze, God himself honoring you showered rain on you for hours on end. May you come to the rescue of thousands. May you receive the blessings of the poor. To those who pray to you, may you give protection. You have the attribute of a Wally. He who loses himself in you becomes like you. 
Wonderful is your effect. Wonderful is your play. Wonderful is your nature. Yours is the gift which nurtures or destroys. The seed you fructify while the tree you uproot. Both are your blessings. One who uses you with care can cook hundreds of dishes. But to the ignorant who treats you carelessly, you are a calamity. You are like the Wally, full of virtues as well as faults. You make one swim and another drown. That is your nature. The whole region of Amenagar was without water. But at the perfect time, you rewarded the labor of the farmer. In the form of fire, you were hot. By becoming water, you were cool. As those near you were warmed by your flame, so also was the world made happy by your light. When you have surrendered to Baba, let your lips be sealed. Brave are those who serve at the feet of the Sadguru. Limitless is your greatness, O Duni. Only rishis and munis can fathom you. You made Baram the first, you made Baram the fire sleep and the sky weep. Your warmth melted the heavens, wedding my sadra. You are the real servant of the sadguru. Stay near him always. Difficult was it to live in the heat of the famine, and it made you sweat. You are the true slave of the master, a fiery rod in my cool hands. Great, great reading, Rosalie. Oh. Um, now, uh, I, I thought maybe we'd s say the beloved God prayer. Um, uh, and then I have a beautiful little clip of, a, of the Baba with the Dooney. And then we'll have just a little three minute silence while we, <laughs> while we throw our, throw our virtual stick into the Dooney. Uh, so, okay, want to together say, beloved God, help us to love you, you love more, and more, more and more and more and more and more and still we have, still we have. All right, now this lovely little movie clip, and then we'll have silence. Let's see, it'll take me a minute to. Um, let's see, we have to go to, sorry,
that was. I meant to stop it there, but it, oh. Anyway, isn't that just the most beautiful movie? That's so powerful, Betty. Would it be a problem if you showed it again? I think, oh, no, no. I was thinking this movie is 15 minutes long. The whole thing is 15 minutes. It's Lud Dimple's footage of uh, the 1954 immense, and it's stunning. I have not seen, I'll show it again, sure. Uh, let's see, I'll show just that piece. And I thought at the end, after we throw our sticks in, we could, if you would like, it's 15 minutes long, we could see the whole thing. Uh, over here, let me show, oh, where are we here? Isn't this movie just exquisite? <laughs> um, week, let's see. Uh, do you, should, would you like to watch the whole thing? It's 15 minutes. Um, and what do you think? The other, uh, the other uh, on the agenda is watching the film of the actual Dooney. Um, 
from Angela, which I, I need to, here, let's see, stop sharing. I need to find her link. So I'm thinking we could watch the movie if you're up for another 15 minutes, and then, uh, and then I can uh, play, it's Angela's kind of her, her replay of the live feed from the actual Dooney. Um, so, um, whoopee, I uh, didn't hear you, Ruthie. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm fidgeting around here. Um, yeah, I think it's up to the, to the group. What do you think, folks? Uh, well, I'm not hearing objections. I, 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 this is Bob Fredericks' movie, and that's what I'd like to do. I had not seen this. I had not seen this movie before. It's uh, amazing. And it's, it's, uh, it's all Lud Dimple's footage of, uh, from the 1954 Men's Sahabas. And uh, it's so sweet. At the end, he acknowledges. I think he says something like eternal thanks to Lud Dimple for bringing his camera and recording. It's just exquisite footage. And that, wow. Well, you've got me revved up now. I was... <laughs> yeah, go All for right. it. Teddy. Go. Right. Okay, now I need to find it again. <laughs> One, two, three, blast off. <laughs> okay, right. okay, let's uh, let's do it. Okay.
Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> Thank you, Betty, for bringing that. Just oh, fantastic. yes. Fantastic. I have not seen it either. Uh, yeah, let me uh, put the post the link. Looks like a gift from the pandemic because it was made in 2020. 2020, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like the beginning when, when they look at Baba and then they look at the crowd. And the very last person is a man who's holding on to his hat. <laughs> <laughs> the symbolism was not lost on me. <laughs> okay, there's the link. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Wow. Whew. <laughs> Not much to say after that. <laughs> Glorious music. My goodness. Uh, so I was thinking that the Sufis must, I mean, they were singing Mayor Baba. They had to have their own organist. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they put things together. Maybe he does that. Bob Fredericks is a wizard. Mm. So. <laughs> Baba. Mm. Wow, what a crowd. Considering it's pandemic time, wow. Anybody know who the fellow in black is who kind of looks like he's in charge? Avatar Meher Baba Ki Jai 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 Avatar Meher Baba Avatar Meher Baba Ki Jai 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 Avatar Meher Avatar Meher Baba Ki Jai 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 Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Avatar 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 Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai Meher Baba Ki Jai
की जय मेहर बाबा की जय मेहर बाबा की जय मेहर बाबा की जय मेहर बाबा की जय अवतार 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 मेहर बाबा की जय Did a, they did a nice job. Uh, yeah, they don't mess around there, do they? Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. I don't know if anybody wants to watch more or if we're okay with that. I can just play it on my screen, just play it out. Or, well, it's like 42 minutes. 40 minutes, right, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You want me to continue it? Oh, or, well, no. Uh, Do we need a vote? To, to... <laughs> yeah, we need a vote. I mean, like you, we can, so anyone, we can... We're, we can leave if we need to. Yeah, yes, oh, okay. Yeah. But what yeah. about... I'm not sure. Let's see, what time is it? And is there something scheduled after us? Oh, that's a good question i think there's a at 1 30 at 1 30 1 30 meditation is it or no no it's at that workshop uh non-violent workshop oh oh yeah, yeah. non-violent communication yeah All right. well we have time then if you'd like Ruthie, do you need your computer between now and yeah <laughs> no i'll just play I, it i say let it run yeah oh thank you bye-bye okay
was written by Meher Baba about this Duni, and this translation was done by Padre. O Duni of Mirabad, how can I express in words your qualities? My pen is utterly incapable. 
your flaming mercy descends on all, that wondrous gift to mankind. To quench your glowing flames, Yazdan himself sent cooling rain. Thus he bestowed on you the honor to keep on giving relief to the thousands, to keep on blessing the helpless. May you keep on bestowing your grace on the ones who yearn to receive it. A wali is a man of God. Your qualities are like a wali, dual. Those who merge in you become like you. Marvelous is your glory, wonderful your nature. Capable you are of making life blossom. Capable you are indeed of uprooting the tree of life. You have both the power of making things flourish and also die. Both are your blessings. You'll cook a hundred bills for that one who tends you, but you'll make that one suffer who annoys you. A wali has clear conflicts. A wali has a clear blemish. A wali has these dual qualities of either preserving or destroying. Oduni of Maribad, Nugger would have been arid without water. Observing the situation, you acted and relieved farmers' worries. You hardened in the form of fire, you melted in the form of water, you gave warmth to the near ones, and you made the world happy. Remain always surrendered to Baba, <coughs> pay homage always to your Guru. Brave are those who serve at the feet of the Satguru. Limitless is your glory, O Duni. Only Rushis and Munis can understand your qualities. You put Bairam the fire to sleep, and you made the clouds weep. The clouds melted because of your flames and wetted my shirt and coat. You are the real slave of the Sadhguru. Remain always near you. Difficult it became for the famine to exist. It got frightened. <coughs> you, you really are the true slave of your master. You are my fiery staff, performing your duties through my order of mercy. J. Bob. The True Teacher by Francis Barabazan. The true teacher is that one who, having no need to come for my sake, came. Having no need to remain for my sake, remains. And who, having no need to go, will for my sake, go. Who rocks me to sleep and at the same time awakens me, makes me blind and at the same time sharpens my sight and removes my ignorance by making me know nothing. Who without admonition makes me aware of my shortcomings, without urging me to effort, awakens and sustains my interest and rewards me without letting my ego become inflated. Who puts on a coat when it is cold and takes it off when it is hot. Satisfies hunger and thirst in the same way as I do, but does not sleep as I sleep, but watches for me my sleeps of unconsciousness. Who in every way, in everyday life acts like an ordinary man, is easily pleased and hurt, but being beyond pleasure and pain, suffers as no one else can suffer, and his bliss shines through his suffering. Who is the father of children he has never begotten, the mother who never brought forth with labor, the brother and friend who sees no one but himself, who is the goal and its revelation and the pathway to it and the path treader who treads no path any whither because he is where he is and has never been anywhere else, who in fact is the supreme reality but appears to my eyes as very man to my mind as rightness, and to my heart as the ineffable beloved who may be approached and attained. Eva.
अपना प्यार बरसाना अवतार में है बाबा इस युग के है दाता अवतार में है बाबा
Thanks, Ruthie. That was nice. It's a nice playlist. <laughs> yeah, really beautiful. <laughs> Thanks so much. For yeah. So maybe a moment of silence together. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. J Baba. People want to unmute if you're there and we can say Avatar Mayor Baba TJ. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, Avatar Mayor Baba TJ. Avatar Mayor Baba TJ. Avatar Mayor Baba TJ. Uh, thanks, Betty. That was a great everybody. program. Thanks, Ruthie. Yeah. Dooney is, wow, yes, we have explored Dooney. <laughs> now, tomorrow, yes. we've got Valentine's Day at 11. We'll have um, oh, a couple of people singing, uh, Joe and Tim, and I might do a song or two. And then, of course, Baba's face is going in here. <laughs> and I think Bobby Bernstein might come by and do a few of her great songs for Baba. So I've been just busy. <laughs> so is it, is it singing, singing Valentine's? Yeah, they'll be offering, there'll be some singing um, and just offering. It'll, it'll be kind of like after RT, mm -hmm. but we've got some people lined up already that will do three songs each. Um, not like the RT gang. Yeah. Uh, but Tim and Joe are going to offer some awesome. and Bobby. Uh -huh. And then uh, if you want to make Valentine's while we are watching, <laughs> you can do that too. I just took some computer paper and, you know, I mean, everybody remembers how to cut out hearts. Yeah. And then Baba's face, you know, you can just, I'm going out for a glue stick shortly. <laughs> So I can um, put Baba's, take the calendars that I have from the past and make a little, you know, make some Valentine collages. All right. So anyway, that's kind of how it's set up. Thanks, Ruthie. Yeah. yeah. Baba. Oh, you can Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Baba. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Oh, yeah. I love seeing that footage of Baba in front of the flame or behind the flame. Anybody a... who's interested can stay for my nonviolent communication workshop coming up at 1.30. And oh. you can learn how to communicate oh, yeah. with people you have conflict with. Which always helpful. Are you right. hosting? Are you the the person, Tina? It's your I, I, no, I'm bringing in a certified NVC trainer. Who is that? Her name is Suzanne Sutton. She's worked at the UN with giving workshops in NBC and Charles Schwab. And it's 